People love worldwide in horror as the Paris terror attacks unfolded. Another attack by a different terror group, Boko Haram in Africa, got virtually no attention. But the murderous rampage is as deserving of a spotlight. Two thousand people murdered in a campaign from this Islamic terrorist group, whose recent gains in East Africa rival those of the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. Our national security correspondent Jennifer Griffin is on it. She's live at the Pentagon with more for us now. Jennifer? Hi, Jenna. That's right. While well, all eyes have been on Paris and ISIS in Syria and Iraq, Boko Haram, the Nigerian Islamic terrorist that kidnapped those 200 Christian schoolgirls last April, has been on the move, capturing 12 towns in the past six months. They now control more territory than ISIS. Last weekend, just days after overtaking a military base that was supposed to be used by international counterterrorism troops, Boko Haram slaughtered up to 2,000 people in the town of Baga, raising questions about why, after the I Am Charlie campaign, the world is not saying I Am Baga. Dr. Lionel Rawlings is in charge of security at the American University of Nigeria and is in town for President Obama's summit on extremism. We just had 2,000 people massacred in Baga, and we had um, 17 people who were killed in uh, in France and for the whole week the news were um, about France instead of focusing on the 2,000 people. The State Department says Boko Haram poses a regional threat not a threat to the US homeland but also this week the group competing for attention with ISIS and Al Qaeda reportedly sent a 10 year old girl with explosives strapped to her body into a marketplace in Nigeria killing 16 people. President Obama has been able to draw forces uh, into the Iraq and Syrian region to be able to um, uh, confront ISIS. Boko Haram and its spread in uh, northern Nigeria and across the northern part of uh, the continent of Africa is equally, is equally a threat to the peace and tranquility of, equal, of, of innocent people and certainly innocent children. The Nigerian government canceled a key counterterrorism program lately and has not asked for U.S. surveillance flights to find the kidnapped girls for some time, according to U.S. officials. Jenna? Much more on this story as we get it. Jennifer, thank you.